Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Another one. And we are here on Oakfield Farm. Spraying the crop for weeds. Because the workers won't do it for me. As mentioned elsewhere, because weeds do not cover the field foot uniformly, the worker looks ahead and says, and no weeds there, and so thinks he's done his job. So this is one of those wonderful jobs I'm going to have to do all of. And we're doing it with GPS, because, at least for now, I'd like to get the whole field covered. There's so many weeds on some of these fields that it's just... You might as well spray the whole thing just to make sure we don't get any weeds pop up right before harvest and lose some of our yield gains. So, we will be driving up and down this field for a while now. We did make £5,000 last night midnight uh, from our hmm what did we sell hay sales at the BGA so that was kind of good and I nearly made a huge mistake with the bailing contracts we did by selling the bales early and of course a baling contract you've all you've got there is wrapped grass and it's not until you uh, you've waited the appropriate period for the uh, silage to brew that it actually becomes silage and grass has no value in seasons, whether it's wrapped, baled, or loose. The only way it has value is as a contract turn-in, at which point you can turn in wrapped grass for a contract that calls for silage. Or wrapped bales. So we wrapped all those bales, we ended up with some spare. And I nearly went and sold them. And then remembered, oh no, that's wrapped grass. It's going to have no value whatsoever. We have to wait until the silage has brewed, which for us is going to be about two days. Good, got it. A little bit worried about the angle at this end, but obviously the spray is a little bit wider, so we are catching it all. So it is day three, so we're now in midsummer. And we have this field to spray herbicide. None of our other fields are ready for applications of liquids at the moment. So we will. Um, Once we've done this, I do believe our alternate sheep field is now ready to be uh, mowed. So we will get the uh, uh, one of our big tractors out in the mowing kit and get that done. plan for the rest of the grass this year since we do have um, pretty much all the hay that we're going to need. Um, this is prime haymaking time although it rained last night so the grass is wet, the ground is wet. Due to rain later so we're going to hope we get this done and that the rain doesn't 
wash away all the herbicide. But hopefully we should be good on the uh, the coverage here. It rained very very late at the night time, so while the ground is damp, it's not a saturated and be um, totally bad. Although it is kind of cloudy this morning, so we're not going to get much in the way of drying done. But the way weather works for this part of the UK, it would appear that we can't make hay in early spring. Well, we can't make hay in early spring because there's no grass, but um, every time we wake up in the morning, the ground is covered in dew, which means that we would need a tedder in order to dry it out. So that's not something we're planning much on, or much reliance on. Most of our hay will need to be produced during early midsummer. Maybe if we're very, very lucky late spring. But again, we shouldn't rely on that as a source. Then, so any cuts in fall and spring is probably, we'll put that in a silage bunker. And then any cuts in fall will probably end up in a silage bunker since we're going to be fighting against um, wet weather most of the way through the fall. And we've got to fit our normal harvest in at that time as well. So hay, hay making is going to happen during the summer. As it is, we've got enough hay for this year. And so we're just going to use the hay that we have to feed the sheep. I think we've got more hay than we need. Uh, which reminds me I should take a bale over to their field once this is done. And then... Everything else we produce this year, I'm going to make a silage, we're going to sell down at the BGA, and that should give us a couple of ton of free fertilizer. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fertilize this field with the digestate that we produce, but some of our smaller fields will probably benefit. this tractor looking we are I'm hoping this has a lower fuel consumption than a normal Valtra T since the engine's smaller than the regular in-game model quite significantly smaller tractor he's actually got a lower horsepower rating than the biggest engine available for the Valtra N however more importantly it's heavier than a Valtra N so I can balance this heavy white tank on the back which an N might struggle with This is really only temporary use for this tractor. I hope to be getting rid of this uh, tank later in the year, or next year, and uh, picking up a self-propelled sprayer. Oh, come on. Oh. I don't 
actually have to spray that bit. And we're getting stuck on the tree. That's uh, quite. That was a bit of a mess up. Steering and we're back on track. So yeah, this is I believe this is our biggest field at the moment. One of the starting fields if you start as a new farmer. We just bought it as one of our starting fields. It's kinda like Marwell Manor. It's it's a huge field for the equipment you would generally start with. close to halfway, presuming the numbers are in the middle. But, uh, we're going to need some more herbicide and I think we've only got enough for half a tank back at the yard. So uh, this isn't going to be, we don't have enough on hand to get this done. So I'll probably need to run down to the store in the Land Rover and we can pick up a couple of canisters of uh, herbicide. We're going to need more because I've still got one, two, three, at least three more fields. Possibly more if we can manage uh, getting some time in to do herbicide on the grass fields. But I may wait till winter for that. Because the grass grows fairly quickly. And I can get most of the applications of fertilizer, which is a better deal than killing the weeds. But then the grass becomes ready to cut, you know, big enough, uh, tall enough to cut, at which point I can't apply any more liquids to it. So, uh, upshot of that is we're not killing weeds on our grass fields at this time. But then in fall we'll get an application of fertiliser just after we've cut it. And then after that... We should have, you know, the grass will die over winter and once it starts re-establishing in spring we'll have a couple of growth stages in which we can uh, deal with the weeds before it needs to be cut or before we can cut it. So that's all good and well. General news at home, the uh, carpets are all gone, the floors are in. So we have nice wood floors in every room. We have some old drapes in the, what's going to be the living room. So we might need to get rid of those fairly soon because obviously they're still full of cat dander but they're not giving me as bad a time as the carpets were. I'm breathing a lot better. Although I still have a sore throat from all the hacking and irritation. That will pass. 
And Mrs. Osa is still down in Ohio and will be until Monday, unless uh, interstate travel's shut down, in which case she's going to be there for a few weeks. But for right now, the plan is come home Monday. Uh, Monday. I'm thinking we might make it back down the field again. I think we will try and do that. Some years I might not bother to do a full spray application on the fields. I may just spot treat them. Maybe I should consider doing that to one of the fields this year, just spot treat it and see if I get any further weed growth. So that's a potential. We might keep the sprayer just for herbicide, but for our main field, uh, even, even for main field treatment, I might not need to do things from next year. <coughs> Obviously, the normal plan, if I get the chance is uh, we'll be planting oilseed radish immediately following the harvest of each field. And then... Uh, oh, I don't think we're going to make it back to the top of the field. And, uh, however... We're nearly done, so, uh, whoops. Excuse me while I press the key that was from Sim 17 as I did steering. Engage. I mean, this field is nearly done. I So I do have enough uh, herbicide back at the yard to finish this field off. It's a good thing. Watch the edge here. And okay. So if we come back to this point, and right where the boom hits the uh, edge of the field. We'll be done. Then we just have to spray along this edge. So field to our north is done, it's still growing. Canola growing. <laughs> We're back. So that's a good looking field. As soon as that's ready to harvest, we're going to have to look into uh, getting ourselves set up for the harvest. Now, uh, the field to our right is oats, and uh, that needs a slightly warmer ground temperature than canola does. which is why it's a little bit behind on the, uh, the growth. I 
and our other field, which is north of the canola field, was planted even later. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. But we see, I don't really need to worry too much about getting the sheep fed. <coughs> I don't give them hay, they should eat the grass. So you can tell me not. We do have a lot of weight on this tractor and it doesn't really have the horsepower to uh, at least move it efficiently. Okay. So this I think is about where we ended up. that. So I'll raise that up. That's not the right way I wanted, okay. did need to treat the edge of the field. Right around here was about as far as we got. So, what else have we got going on? Remember, I've got nothing going on. Um, and due to uh, age related health issues, I work from home anyway, so. Uh, Self-quarantining, not really a big deal for me. But I have noticed when I've made brief sojourns out to uh, the grocery store, there's really nobody shopping. Pretty quiet out there, and most people appear to be heeding the advice that they are being given.
however, I've really not been feeling up to much game playing lately. So, I think this is about the first gaming session I've had this week since uh, Oakfield Farm last week. Mostly watching uh, YouTube videos, trying to figure out what the truth is and what isn't. And frankly, I have severely given up on the new services because they're not providing me news. Well, they're not providing me useful news. It's all opinion and panic mongering. If you want to find out what's actually going on, check your local uh, government advisory websites, or do some research.